Zombies had invaded his home, feasting on his wife's corpse, and the zombie king, still human, screamed as he charged into the horde. Upon hearing Wang Bo's story, Da Zhu appeared touched. Oh, your words make me miss my parents too much. If it weren't for my little sister, I might have turned into a zombie king myself. The captain lay on the ground, pleading. You two don't need to worry about yourselves anymore. I know I was wrong. Please take me back with you. Please take me back. I'll speak to the Jin patriarchs to reward you both. Ha 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 ha. When we set out here, I was afraid neither you nor the Jin patriarch intended to bring us back. Even if you did, it would probably just be our flesh. Da Zhu, I beg you. Just now, we fought the zombie king together, and I truly know I was wrong. Da Zhu paid no attention to his rambling and turned away. At this moment, the two zombies received their orders and began moving toward the captain. He recoiled in fear, trembling like a leaf as he cried out, Please, don't come over here. I'm not tasty. Don't come over here. The horde of zombies roared and pounced on him, his screams echoing in the air. Wang Bo sat in the driver's seat. Da Zhu, buckle up, let's head back. Bo, after we return, we'll stick to the plan. We need to see how Chou Yu and Officer Mio are doing, and then we'll take care of that Jin Patriarch. Returning to the concentration camp, Mio Ru Yun was led to a place and urged, hurry in, behave well, serve Jin Patriarch well. Mio Ru Yun frowned and muttered, I wonder what kind of place it is inside. Opening the door and stepping in, the interior resembled nothing short of paradise. With a DJ playing music, a table filled with food, alcoholic beverages, and numerous beautiful women. Even in times of food scarcity like this, one can still indulge extravagantly. This fatso sure knows how to live it up. Ha ha ha, I caught you now. Jim Patriarch. New girls have arrived. Let's go catch them for some fun. He wiped the sweat from his face with a handkerchief. Oh, they've arrived. Let's see what they're like first. The new girls approached Jin Patriarch coyly, enticingly. Hello, Jin Patriarch. We're very experienced. We can turn iron into gold. And my tongue is also very skillful. Want to try? Don't listen to them. I'm the real deal. Jin Patriarch, touch me. Or would you prefer to lie down? Jin Patriarch, let me serve you. Mio Ru Yun felt disgusted and covered his face. Truly morally bankrupt. I hope the heavens take away my ability to perceive. Ladies, please stop competing. I want purity. Whoever is the real deal, jump and let's see. Whoever jumps the best can live here for a month with free food and board. The music blared, and the girls began to dance gleefully. Here, I dance the best. Jin Patriarch, see how beautifully I dance. Jin Patriarch, what do you think of my dancing? Annoying. Clearly, I'm the best dancer. Mio Ru Yun tried to endure it. This guy never changes. When we finally bring him down, we'll definitely teach him a lesson. At the same time, in another area of the refugee camp, Xiao Yu hid in a corner. You want to die, huh? You asked me to bring you to the weapon storage. There are many like you here. Do you really want to die? Craving for a beating, aren't you? Secretary Zhang, chained like a dog, complied and said, Please don't hit me anymore, sis. Actually, there's a back door here that only I know about. I can take you in through there. Why didn't you say so earlier? You're doing this on purpose. Hurry and take her, or else you'll regret it. Guided by Secretary Zhang, Xiao Yu quietly made her way to the weapon storage. She peered inside through a gap. This whole chest is filled with weapons and ammunition. Even with just this, we have better firepower. Xiao Yu's eyes sparkled with urgency. Seriously? Then, what are we waiting for? Hurry up and take me to see. Well, you can take her too. But this is confidential. You can't just look for free. Or maybe after she's done looking, she can give me a kiss. Are you tired of living? She's only allowed to kiss my bow. Hey, you scavenger, you eat human flesh and act all fancy. Even if you die under a peony flower, you'd still be a ghost. And if you refuse, don't even think about knowing where that thing is hidden. Show you. Seeing the firmness in her, inserted, Fine, if you take me to see that more powerful firepower, I'll give you a kiss. Seriously, she said she'd keep her word. Outside the refugee camp, Wang Bo drove slowly up. Hey, I'm back, open up. A voice blared from the loudspeaker. Why are there only two of you? Where are the others? We encountered the zombie king in Chang Bai, 
and Captain Lai sacrificed himself to help us transport the gold back. Why, are you helping them again? Don't play dumb. If you don't explain, don't expect to come in. Wang Bo stepped out of the car and unfurled a cloth covering gold. If you don't believe it, take a look. It's me and Da Zhu who brought it back. There's plenty in Cheng Bai. Isn't this what Jin wants? You found it, so open up and let them in. Da Zhu whispered, Bo, the next move depends on you. Trust me, stick to the plan. On Jin's side, he held up a Rolex watch. Have any of you seen my Rolex? Whoever can pick it up can get a month's worth of food. After saying this, Jin tossed the watch into the pool, and the girls clamored, Wow, I want it, I want it, I saw it, it's mine. Mio Ru Yun didn't know what to say. That fat dwarf is something else. At this moment, a hand clapped on Mio Ru Yun's shoulder. Hey, sister. Mio Ru Yun turned around and asked, What's up? I'm the attendant next to Jin's. You can call me Sister Du. Oh, hi, Sister Du. Do you have any instructions? Not really, actually. I've noticed you since you stepped in. I feel like you're different from the other meek ones who came here. Mio Ru Yun thought to herself, Not good. Maybe she's starting to suspect my motive for coming here. The girl continued, You're more trustworthy than those lowlifes. They just want to get close to Jin and use short-term benefits. I need someone to help me grasp Jin's trust firmly. Once you've had Jin's favor, you don't need to worry about anything in the apocalypse anymore. You'll be guaranteed good food, night's clothes, and ultimate comfort. So one become my ally. Seeing the girl inching closer, Mio Ru Yun blushed and pushed back. Sister Du, we don't need to talk so closely. Of course, I want to support. If you don't mind, I'll listen to you in the future. Mio Ru Yun sighed inwardly, so she wants to manipulate me into playing a dangerous game, threatening me with death. But why do I feel uncomfortable every time she gets close? Anyway, let's have a drink, and we'll be best friends later. Oh, by the way, you still don't know my name. You can call me Chao Yun. Mio Ru Yun calculated in her mind. This woman, being the close attendant of that fat dwarf, probably knows little information. I have to find a way to get her to take me to where Jin keeps the gold. The fat woman, who was enjoying herself with Jin, was annoyed when called out. Of all times to come, interrupting us while we're having fun with Jin. Wang Bo asked, We took a risk to bring back the gold. Jin, you won't refuse to reward us, will you? The fat woman nodded and waved her hand. Suddenly everyone aimed their guns at the two. Dazu asked in astonishment, What are you doing? Do you want to steal our hard-earned rewards? We don't need Jin's reward anymore, please. Don't pretend anymore. Jin already knows your true identities. Since the beginning, when you entered the city, Jin unintentionally recognized you and the girl. Back then, when Jin stood on top of the car and looked over, he saw that beautiful policewoman who used to arrest him. Didn't expect her to come knocking at his door. Ha ha ha, let's see if I can play you to death this time. Wang Bo, realizing he was exposed, couldn't help but grind his teeth in frustration. Damn it, didn't expect that fat dwarf to remember Mio the cop. Heard the Mad Fury gang got seriously injured by a cop named Mio and others a few hundred kilometers away. You lot were behind that weren't you? Ha ha, you have guts, aiming at Jin like that, wanting to die, huh? Hold on, let me explain. Before Wang Bo could finish his sentence, he was struck hard on the back of his head with a gun butt. Da Zhu cheered. Bro Bo, everything's fine. The gun-wielding soldier commanded. Stay still, don't move. The plump woman chuckled loudly. Ha ha ha, following Master Jin's plan. We've caught them all. Indeed, I am the most capable woman beside Master Jin. Wang Bo merely pretended to be unconscious. The recent blow didn't affect him. A while later, Wang Bo was dragged into a dim corridor by two men. I wonder if Officers Mio and Xiaoyi are all right. Officer Mio still doesn't know that Master Jin has recognized her. This is troublesome. How could this place be the residence of that fatso without even a single guard? It looks quite run down, one of them remarked. Wang Bo was tossed in front of a door by the two men before they departed. What if he tries something? Don't worry, with Sister Du here, it's very safe. Let's go quickly, one of them said. Wang Bo muttered to himself angrily. They dare to throw me on the floor. Let's see how I deal with them later. Soon, 
Two heavily disguised figures approached, carrying Wang Bo inside and seating him on a chair before tightly binding him. Wang Bo squinted. Why tie me up here? What do you want to do? The light flickered on, and the plump man walked over, laughing. The game begins. Back in the days when I was in business, I often encountered many thieves from outside, not knowing their intentions towards me. You guys saw my fat belly and thought I was as dumb as a pig, not realizing my intentions. When it comes to cunning, you guys are far behind me. Stop pretending, and listen up. He swung the whip hard at Wang Bo, who screamed in pain. Luckily, I've toughened up my flesh with a viral reinforcement. Otherwise, I'd be eating dirt by now. But it still hurts like hell. Wang Bo questioned, If you knew my purpose, why not just kill me directly? Want to collaborate with me? Collaborate? Ha 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 ha, are you trying to make me laugh to death? What collaboration with a piece of meat on the chopping board? So why tie me up? I've already found my way back. It's been a while since I've had some excitement. Now that someone's come to challenge me, of course I have to play with you. Someone switched on the lights with a click, and the room became illuminated. Now Wang Bo could see his surroundings clearly. Nearby, Mia Ru Yun was hanging somewhat dazed. Wang Bo shouted excitedly, What do you want? He, don't rush. I just want to have a deep conversation with Officer Mio. Who are you? The two masked individuals earlier removed their outer coats, revealing seductive lingerie, with whips in hand. Disgusting. Injuring Officer Mio like this. Bullying women like that. What kind of men are you? If you want some action, come at me. One of them exclaimed. The plump man turned back, saying, You must cherish Officer Mio. Don't harm her. He, rest assured. Master Jin, we'll take good care of her. Hey kid, I want to see the look on your face as your beloved woman gets played. Wang Bo widened his eyes. So it's an old pervert, he muttered. Meanwhile, on Da Zhu's side, he was led away by several soldiers to a certain place. This time, it's over. Bo's plan has been disrupted. With Jin's character, he probably won't let us die easily. He will definitely torture us. And we can only adapt to the situation. Da Zhu thought. Don't even mention Bo. Right now, it's difficult for me to ensure my own safety. They must have thought they could kill the zombie king, which is why they sent four people to escort me. I wonder how they intend to deal with me. In this situation, one can only resign to fate, but I'm really worried about my sister. What should I do? Suddenly, the wall ahead was smashed into. The soldiers exclaimed, Who opened this thing? Secretary Zhang had a tank barrel pressed against his throat, crying out desperately, Help! Save me! It's me! Don't just stand there! Save me! The soldiers panicked. Run! Run quickly! Be careful not to get shot! Secretary Zhang trembled with anger. You dare not save me! When I get back, I'll have Jin kill all of you! From inside the tank came a voice. Da Zhu! Why are you here? Upon hearing this sound, Da Zhu joyfully shouted, Xiaoyu, is that you? Where's Brother Wang? Why didn't you come with him? We've hit the jackpot. They've been taken by old man Jin. Let's hurry to rescue him. Xiaoyu couldn't help but be astonished. On Wang Bo's side, the blonde girl held a stimulating drug in her hand, pointing it towards Miao Ru Yun, saying, He, little sister, this is good stuff. Wang Bo exclaimed, Hey, 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 stop it right now. Aim at me if you must. Don't harm the police officer Miao. During the fight with the zombie king, I've exhausted all my inner strength. Even the great strength Vajra Palm is unusable now. Can't escape. The chubby guy with a mouth gag retorted. What's all the noise about? The kid here is worried about others. Should worry about your own situation instead. Do you know, before the apocalypse, no matter how strong the protection was, nobody dared to play excessively. At most, it was just to get through the addiction. But after the apocalypse, I can play with you guys as I please. I really love this apocalypse. Wang Bo's eyes twitched. So this fatso is a pervert, a social deviant, daring to toy with others' lives at will, utterly disgusting. You're just my 18th male toy. These days I'll cherish you dearly. As he spoke, he began to nibble on Wang Bo's earlow. Wang Bo's entire body tingled with goosebumps as he yelled out, You damn pig! I'll tear you apart into a thousand pieces for sure. The aphrodisiac was injected into Miao Ruvian's body. The white-haired girl closely observed her reaction, saying, Sister Du, this drug works really fast. Look at her face. Ha ha ha, of course, 
This is a potent elixir. It can even cure your cold demeanor. Others might not even have the chance. So let me try it first. The white-haired girl grasped Miao Ruyun's face, then licked and nibbled on her earlobe. Miao Ruyun's voice trembled. Please, don't, I beg you. The girl didn't respond. Instead, she ran her hand over Ruyun's ample chest, while the blonde girl reached down to stroke Ruyun's groan. Ruyun shivered, pleading desperately. Please, I beg you, Wang Bo, save me. Beside Wang Bo, the chubby guy couldn't bite Wang Bo's ear properly and complained uncomfortably. Is your ear made of leather? Why can't I bite it? Wang Bo pondered inwardly, system. While it's true my internal strength points are depleted, shouldn't the anger points still be usable for zombie skills? Why isn't the body strengthening reacting when there were clearly 400 anger points before? Yet now there are only 80. The system explained, player, anger points decrease to zero according to emotional recovery. Although your current anger points may increase, because you're under attack and the viral support is protecting you, your anger points are also deducted. Wang Bo was left speechless. This is excessively restrictive. I didn't expect skills to affect each other like this. Players, don't be disheartened. Think in a positive direction. Each of his attacks will boost your skills. The chubby guy swung the whip again at Wang Bo. Ah, even though the passive skills are strengthened, the flesh and skin aren't harmed. But the pain sensation hasn't weakened at all. He enthusiastically continued to lash Wang Bo. This is exhilarating. To find someone who can endure my lashes without fainting is truly pleasurable. Neo Ru Yun was drenched in sweat, feeling the heat all over her body. It seems like the effect of this drug is starting to work. The game is about to become more enjoyable. The blonde girl used a knife to cut through Miao Ru Yun's skin, while Wang Bo watched attentively. What? What may they want to do with Officer Mayo? Ru Yun's skin was now cut all the way down to her feet. The game begins. The blonde girl excitedly shouted, then forcefully whipped Ru Yun's back. Little sister, are you ready? With a thud, Ru Yun cried out in pain. And seeing this, Wang Bo's body surged with anger, blood vessels bulging. Officer Mio, these beasts. At this moment, Wang Bo's anger points increased to 90. The chubby guy swung his fist, landing a blow with a thud, and the system's voice echoed, activating viral support, deducting 20 anger points, advancing viral support progress by one. The chubby guy panted in anger, you little brat, you're quite resilient. Let's see how long you can endure. He continued to unleash a flurry of punches. The system's voice incessantly resounded, deducting 20 anger points, advancing viral support progress by one, deducting 20 anger points, advancing viral support progress by one. Wang Bo felt frustrated. Continuing like this, even immortality would be painful to death. What should I do? Outside the refugee camp, the tank kept firing, wreaking havoc everywhere. Xiaoyi pressed the gun barrel against the tank controller's head. That's right, shoot for me. Dazu stood on the tank, continuously firing the gun at the running figures ahead, while Secretary Zhang looked on, crying out, Don't just think about yourself. Hurry and help me. At this moment, several refugees approached. Dazu, where did you get the weapons? It must not be from Jin's arsenal, right? Are you rebelling? That's right, they don't see us as people. Let's rebel together. Rebel with me. As long as we unite, we can surely defeat the Jin family. In the background, a cannon shell was aimed at the tank, prompting a soldier to rush over to stop it. Hold on, Secretary Zhang. You're still on the tank. The soldier squinted, sneering. Let's deal with these rebels first, then that Zhang guy can die. Then the top position will be ours, right? You make a good point. So let's kill them. What are we waiting for? Open fire. Let them see what an Italian cannon can do. Hearing the commotion behind him, Da Zhu swiftly turned around to see a group of people fighting. Damn it, don't you see us as human beings? I never liked you lie anyway. Let's kill them. As one of them was about to squeeze the trigger, some refugees rushed to intervene. Don't you dare shoot. You'll kill him. Seeing the scene unfolding, Da Zhu exclaimed excitedly, This is great. Everyone is united. We can surely overthrow the Jin family. But then he realized, overthrow the Jin family? Let's forget about that. We don't have the power for that. Everyone, leave now. If the Jin Patriarch finds out, we're dead for sure. Even if we wanted to confront the Jin family with me, 
we wouldn't be able to. Just now, I couldn't bear to watch myself die like that. Here, as long as we work hard, we'll have food to eat. In the end, it's better than wandering outside. Indeed, our lives are as insignificant as flies and mosquitoes. There's no way we can stand up to the Jin family. But do you all know what meat we eat every day? Moreover, we're constantly oppressed by others. People like us will always be oppressed by others. It's better to live in humiliation than to die in glory. Indeed, even without the Jin family, there will be others to come and oppress us. Da Zhu's heart sank. They're not wrong in their thinking. Even without the Jin clan, there would be countless other Jin clans emerging. These people aren't as fortunate as I am to encounter someone like Bo to aid them. All right then, I won't force everyone to stand against the Jin clan with me anymore. Best of luck to everyone. Xiao Yu peeked out and asked, Da Zhu, can we leave now? Let's seize the time to rescue Wang. Xiao Yu, let's go. Xiao Yu nodded. If that old Jin dares to harm Bo, I'll make sure to finish them off. Back to Wang Bo's location. Miao Ru Yun's face was flushed with visible bruises on her back. The blonde girl remarked, Seems like the effects of the medicine are starting to show. Whatever we do to her now, she'll only find it amusing. The white-haired girl nodded, Indeed, quite a rare specimen. Let's continue with our plan. She looks like a mere chick. So today we'll turn her into a real woman. As the blonde spoke, she rubbed her prosthetic hand on Miao Ru Yun's back, causing tears to stream down her face. Please. No, don't do this, I beg you. Bo, please save me, I'm almost done for. The chubby guy observed Wang Bo's expression, feeling perplexed. This kid has been beaten for nearly half an hour, everything torn to shreds. Yet there's only a few scratches on him, not even a drop of blood. How does that make any sense? My own hand is starting to hurt now. An ordinary person would have long been disfigured under my lash. It's impossible for anyone to withstand my blows. Impossible. It just can't be. The chubby guy shouted loudly, once again delivering a powerful punch straight to Wang Bo's face, fresh blood oozing out. The system notification chimed in. Defense level increased. Sensation of pain. After receiving damage will decrease. Anger points consumed upon receiving attack changed to 15. Next level up requires receiving 200 attacks, deducting 15 anger points. Wang Bo roared. Had enough yet? The chubby guy scoffed. Making noise won't do you any good. I've hit you over a hundred times. You're no sandbag. In a bit, I'll show you what it's like to be one. And you two perverted freaks, daring to treat Officer Miel like that. She's the one I admire the most. You dare touch her. I'll make sure to pay you back a hundredfold. Miel Ru Yun was astonished. Admire? Wang Bo, did he say he admires me? The flesh on Wang Bo's body started to bulge. The chubby guy yelled. Hey, hey, what are you trying to do? The blonde girl chuckled. Relax. Jin, I haven't seen anyone escape those tendrils yet. Wang Bo's eyes reddened. Human? Too hesitant. I'm not human anymore. As Wang Bo's fury reached 100 points, he immediately activated his body enhancement skill. With a few cracking sounds, he broke free from the tendrils binding him, leaving the chubby guy panicked, stuttering. What kind of kid is this? Quickly subdue him again for me. Damn it, protect Jin. Yes, sister do. Mio Ru Yun gazed intently at Wang Bo. You came to rescue me, but your body, your heartbeat, it's too fast. That area seems peculiar too, fading away. I feel like I'm losing consciousness. The chubby guy reacted, spinning around to flee. Quick, 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 kill him. Wang Bo raised a sharp hand, shouting, you chubby bastard, I'll kill you. Just as he was about to grab the chubby guy, the two women attacked. With a swoosh, Wang Bo's chest tore open. The viral support skill couldn't activate. The system apologized. Sorry, insufficient rage points. Unable to activate viral support. The white-haired girl aimed the sharp thorn at Wang Bo's neck, stabbing with a thud. Fortunately for Wang Bo, he had just enough viral points to trigger the viral support skill. The white-haired girl was shocked to see her thorn deform on her finger. Wang Bo staggered back, and the chubby guy said, You two hold him off. I'll go to the bedroom to get something. The two girls nodded and took out sharp knives, continuing, No man has ever survived our onslaught. You dare to harm my colleague Mio. You're not human. We'll kill you. The white-haired one took the lead. Kill us, ha. Huh? 
Let's see what you're made of. Oh, forgot to mention, we used to be special operatives. Wang Bo leaned back to evade, then gripped the white-haired woman's wrist tightly to restrain her. His other hand delivered a powerful slap to her head, creating a loud smack. The blonde-haired woman rushed forward, shouting, her knife aimed straight at Wang Bo. He lifted his foot and kicked straight into her face. You cruel woman, get lost. After the smack, the blonde woman fell to the ground alongside the silver-haired one. Wang Bo stooped down to pick up the toy hand from the ground. The white-haired woman sat up, her voice trembling. You, you scoundrel, I'll kill you. Wang Bo knocked the knife out of her hand, then forcefully kicked her head. You enjoy torturing others, don't you? Let me give you a taste of being tortured. If you like playing these games, I'll play along. The white-haired woman's terrified face quivered. No, please, please spare me. Wang Bo grabbed her hair and pulled her head back, then thrust the toy hand forcefully between her legs, eliciting a horrifying scream. The blonde woman was completely petrified witnessing this scene. Wang Bo then slowly turned his head and smirked. Now it's your turn. The anger points were continuously escalating. Outside the refugee camp, the Jin clan soldiers were incessantly aiming at the tank to fire. Secretary Zhang, tied up at gunpoint, kept shouting, Hey, you, aim properly and don't shoot us. If you don't stop, I'll make sure to deal with you when I return. Xiao Yu and Da Zhu took cover behind the tank, unable to retaliate. Da Zhu said, It's over. We're facing overwhelming firepower. Xiao Yu, leave it to me. I'll cover you. Climb up from that ladder there, and you can reach the Jin clan. Da Zhu, can you really hold them off alone here? I'm not sure. Maybe, but rescuing Bo is more urgent. We have no other choice. Da Zhu, Bo sees people accurately. He's a trustworthy teammate. Bo has helped me, and I'll definitely help everyone in return. Go quickly, I'll cover you. Meanwhile, Secretary Zhang continued to yell, Hey, what are you fools still doing? Hurry up and save me. The Jin clan soldiers saw no movement near the tank and thought Xiao Yu and Da Zhu were scared off. At that moment, Da Zhu, armed to the teeth, climbed onto the tank and shouted, You idiots! With a roar, Da Zhu wildly fired two guns, scattering the others to find cover. Listen up, everyone! Da Zhu here, I won't retreat. If you want to get through, you'll have to step over my dead. At the same time, Xiao Yu also dashed into the hallway. She cautiously glanced up at the second floor, where the guards, spotting an intruder, immediately opened fire. Xiao Yu ducked into the staircase corner, along with several others. In that momentary pause, she didn't know how to launch an attack, nor did she know the fate of her bow and officer Mio. Meanwhile, on Wang Bo's side, the blonde-haired man lay motionless on the ground, panting heavily, You scoundrel, how dare you do this to me? Wang Bo retorted, Had enough yet. See if you'll dare to harm others in the future. In his heart, he thought, maybe I overdid it just now, but I can't control myself anymore. Never mind that, saving people is what matters. Wang Bo rushed to Miao Ru Yun's side, calling out, Officer Mio, how are you? Hang in there for a moment. I'll get you out immediately. Mio Ru Yun opened her eyes, gazing fixedly at Wang Bo's muscular body, the aphrodisiac still affecting her. She caught the scent of manliness on Wang Bo, making her want to draw closer to him. Suddenly, the white-haired woman wielding a knife lunged forward, I absolutely won't spare you. The chubby guy appeared at this moment. Get out of the way. Let me handle this. I must personally kill this scumbag. You dare to defy me. Taste my wrath, you scum. Wang Bo turned back, visibly astonished. A golden gun. He actually has this. The blonde-haired one exclaimed excitedly, Jin, kill him quickly. The chubby guy activated the gun, and the two girls couldn't avoid it in time, immediately falling into a pool of blood dead. Wang Bo roared, Beast, you even kill your own men. Haha, <laughs> what kind of comrades are they? They're just my puppets, mere tools. Using such heavy-duty firearms consumed rage points several times more than before. Wang Bo's accumulated rage points were quickly depleting. If he continued like this, both he and Officer Mio would die here. He can only exert all his strength for one attempt. Wang Bo activated his body enhancement skill, deducting 100 rage points, then launched his ultimate skill, rushing straight towards the chubby guy. The chubby guy's face paled. 
He blocked the gun. Come at me, are you still human? Wine Bo quickly closed in, swinging his fist to knock the gun aside. And the chubby guy's tears and snot streamed down as he cried out, Ah, monster, is anyone coming to save me? Wine Bo grabbed his collar and lifted him up. You gan chubby scum, don't even think about escaping. Beg, beg for mercy if you want. I'll give you anything you want. Mercy for you. Do you think I'm a saint? You've been coercing others, forcing them to serve you, treating humans as commodities, shields against bullets. Not only that, you even made Officer Mio drink that disgusting stuff, and you wanted me to drink it too. You're as good as dead. You, you're wrong, boss. Please forgive me. I won't do it again. Your chubby guy eats people without leaving bones. But I won't kill you right away. I'll toss you to the people outside. Let them slowly torment you, without power or resources to protect you. You're just a fatso trampled on by others. Wang Bo tightened his grip, causing the chubby guy to slump unconscious to the ground. Then, Wang Bo turned back to Miao Ru Yun, his hand swiftly cutting through the bindings. Miao Ru Yun collapsed, her body soft and yielding. Officer Miao, it was me who caused you suffering. Now I'll take you out. It's fortunate that the one holding me is you. Let's not dwell on this. My current stay is also hard to control compared to before. Mio Ru Yun suddenly reached out to touch Wang Bo's face, her voice trembling. Wang Bo, I feel so hot and uncomfortable. Can you help me? I feel like I can't bear it anymore. My heart is beating too fast. Wang Bo, please help me check. I feel like if this continues, I might explode. Please help me. Officer Mio, please wake up. You're just affected by the drug. Don't be like this. I'm about to lose control. Mio Ru Yun said, then I'll follow my heart's instinct. Actually, this is what I truly desire. Come on, don't hold back anymore. As she spoke, Mia Ru Yun pushed her tongue out, wanting to caress Wang Bo's lips. The anger continued to rise. At this point, Wang Bo couldn't hold back any longer. He pushed Mia Ru Yun down, then tore off Ru Yun's clothes, starting to passionately kiss her. Outside, Da Zhu, wounded, huddled behind the tank. The Jin clan soldiers smirked triumphantly. Ha 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 ha. Surrender now. You're surrounded. We know you're out of ammo. You killed many of our comrades. Come out quickly. Don't hide anymore. Don't boast there. Knowing he's out of ammo. Yet not taking action. Everyone's afraid of death. Ha. Huh? Boom. A bullet struck directly into Zhang's chrysanthemum insignia. Da Zhu smirked. Who said I'm out of ammo? That was the last one. Now it's your turn. Realizing Dazu was truly out of ammo this time, the soldiers advanced slowly. Dazu sighed, closing his eyes. Bo, I've fought with all my might, it's up to everyone now. I've arranged things for my sister, just regret I can't take care of her anymore. I'm not a good brother, my parents are coming to find us both. He he, you're dead for sure. Dazu, come out, surrender and be tied up. Just then, a car rushed in. Xiao Nan popped out laughing loudly. Ha 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 ha. The young master is here to deal with you lot. The Jin clan soldiers, startled, turned to look. Look at the western firearms. They're going to wipe out you villains. Xiao Bao, sitting inside the car, grabbed onto Xiao Nan's leg and shouted loudly, You brat Xiao Nan, stop barking. If you stick out again, I won't be able to hold them back. Da Zhu looked over, recognizing Wang Bo's comrades with delight. The Jin clan soldiers aimed their guns at the car and began shooting relentlessly. An Lai shouted, Everyone, hold on tight. The car swerved, tossing the two soldiers off. Secretary Zhang screamed, Oh my, those wretches still have reinforcements. No wonder they're so arrogant. An Lai stepped out of the car and asked, Why are you alone, Wine Bo? Where are the others? Da Zhu pointed upwards, An Bo, they're upstairs. I'm holding the fort here. How did they manage to get in so quickly? Seems like they're after the gold. Leo Lu stepped out and shouted, Brother, don't leave me behind. Little sister's here too. Leo Lu is obedient. You'll stay with me from now on, right? Why did all of you come here? An Lai explained, Half an hour ago, we heard gunfire from here. Fearing for everyone's safety, we decided to come help. Xiao Yan added, We're comrades. Naturally, we advance and retreat together. Suddenly, another group of soldiers rushed over. Intruders on the other side, everyone, concentrate your firepower. 
Gunshots rang out. Xiao Man lay low, shouting, Have you two finished talking? Xiao Bao from the back seat extended his gun and fired, Cowards! Weren't you boasting about how formidable your western firearms are just now? Xiao Nan hastily found an excuse. Two hands against four, facing a dozen opponents. Come on, let's stand guard here together. When they come down, we'll go together. But my ammo's run out. I'll stay with Wang Bo. Never been afraid of running out of bullets before. Xiao Qi sat in the taxi, holding the gun and exclaimed, These guns are more fun than hugging teddy bears. Ha ha. It seems like going with Wang Bo was the best choice of my life. Inside the residence of the Jin family, Xiao Yu finally wiped out all the guards, saying to Wang Bo, This is the last floor. Mr. Wang, where are the police Mio and the other guy? At that moment, a voice echoed. Oh, don't. Xiao Yu was surprised. It's Mio's voice. It's okay. I'm here to rescue her. Following the sound, Xiao Yu rushed to open the door, exclaiming, What's going on here? It looks like a serious battle has taken place. Is this Jin's residence? He's still breathing, just unconscious. Oh, what's this wet thing here? What is it used for? Mio Ru Yun's voice came from inside. Wang Bo, I'm tired. Take a break. Guided by her voice, Shoei Yu approached the golden door, saying, It's Mio's voice. She just called for Wang Bo. It seems he's here too. Upon opening the door and stepping in, the entire room was made of gold, momentarily dazzling Xiao Yu. Wow, everything is made of gold. Wang Bo must be thrilled this time. Mio Ru Yun's trembling voice echoed in the bedroom. Wang Bo, please forgive me. I'm about to lose everything. Xiao Yu pulled back the curtain and shouted, Police Mio. Wang, both of you are. But before she could finish her sentence, the scene stunned Xiao Yu. Mio Ru Yun was lying on the bed and Wang Bo was pouring water on her while she continued to plead. Wang Bo, stop please. Take a break. Xiao Yu couldn't believe what was happening and said, How could this be? Seeing Xiao Yu approaching, Mio Ru Yun hurriedly explained, Wait, Xiao Yu, let me explain. It's not what you think. There's no need for further explanation. I'd seen it all. Wang Bo turned his head, noticed Xiao Yu wanting to leave, and quickly grabbed her hand, saying, Wang, why are you still holding on to her? What else do you want to say at this point? As he spoke, tears streamed down Xiao Yu's face. You already have Xiao Yu. Why would you do this to Police Miao? If you've chosen Police Miao, then let me go, and I'll stay away from you forever. The lust within Wang Bo surged, and he smirked, asking, Stay away from me. With a swift motion, he tore Xiao Yu's clothes apart and questioned, Did you think you could escape from me? Xiao Yu couldn't believe the person in front of her. Is this really the Wang Bo I know? Xiao Yu quickly go. Wang is not normal right now. Wang Bo lifted Xiao Yu and approached the bed, saying, Ha ha, before I am satisfied, neither of you is going anywhere. The room once again echoed with the sounds of stroll. While outside, the two sides continued their tug of war. Don't stop, keep firing. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you enjoyed the content, Please don't hesitate to hit the like and share buttons. Your support is a huge motivation for me to continue creating more videos. Additionally, there are many other interesting story videos on my channel, so feel free to check them out. Thank you.